How does it feel to be off the campaign trail? Well, it's fun to have John home. I have to remember to buy four salmon fillets instead of three, but it's good. Uh, uh, is there, I mean, is there, it's got to be exhausting coming off that kind of schedule for you both. I mean, is there a period of just, I'm taking a week off, or how do you, how do you make the transition? There's a period of getting used to having you home, that's for sure. Yeah. I, just because since July, he's been right. gone, and I've been the boss. But, um, you know, I was really proud of everything that John did, so I'm sorry it didn't work out the way we hoped, but I'm glad to have him home. Yeah. You were talking about the debates that, that um, what do you think of that? They're, the, dumb, back they're the dumbest way to pick a president. Why? Well, because it's all sound bites. I mean, because somebody has a clever sound bite that they should be president. I mean, what are we, we're not hiring somebody for late night television. Um, it's about depth to be president. It's about the ability to make decisions in a critical time. You know, we think about these issues of the Zika virus, or we think about the possibility of some sort of weapons of mass destruction in the hands of, uh, of extremists, or we, we think about, about the divisions of race in our country, or poverty. I mean, these are the things that people need to hear what you think, not like, you know, some name calling or some, you know, some kneecapping of somebody. You know, it's a stump. I'm t the country will be making a horrible decision if we do it on the basis of debates. The way I thought we should do it is the town hall format. Mm. Interview somebody for 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I know the public gets tired of that. But if you, if you were going to go and have a major surgery, you would want to spend time finding out who the doctor is. It allows, that's, it allows that's, time for, to, to, to explain reflect. your position. Yeah, and you know, you would spend your time trying to pick the best doctor. We're going to pick a president because I saw on CNN in the morning that somebody, you know, had some clever little line against somebody else. That's what, that, that's a dumb, dumb way. It's a bad, it's a dangerous way to pick a president. Hmm. What do you, what are you looking for now? I mean, you're, you're in Ohio now. You've got a lot of plans for the next two years. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, well, I'm going to be out on the trail helping Republicans, for sure. I want the House and the Senate to be kept. But here, we're going to just swing for the fences, man. You know, if it's in the phone book, why is government doing it? I mean, how do we bring innovation and excitement and move the state even further forward? Um, you know, and there, there's, I have lots of things in my mind about the kinds of things we need to do. Um, but I think that as we drive this state forward, it'll again continue to provide a model for the rest of the country. And let's face facts, Anderson, the strength of my campaign was on the basis of experience and the accomplishments. No one doubted what we did here. No one doubted that we got the budget balance. That was a certain fuel added to the rest of the message that I think made a real difference.